hard for champions like Udi or Shen to operate. Welcome to Summer's um, Rift. I think if the Wombo combo ever hits the back line, the Ezreal Anivia, uh, it's pretty hard. Udi, realistically, I don't think should play like he did that Darius, like he did Darius in the last game. Uh, I think you have to just let the other team over Shen and trust. The Morgana Black Shields to maybe, you know, stop the Seraphine ulti part of it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Or the Lissandra engage. Um, but I think you play around the spacing of Nivea and... Minions have spawned. Uh, I don't know. It just feels like, it feels like a hard comp to play, I think. Um, I think I personally would have preferred a higher damage support instead of the disengage um, or or an adc that doesn't need two items to do things because um, ezreal realistically does a lot once you get mythic or the machine item plus Mammon. um but until then it's not gonna morgana is like single target pick out um so maybe i'd be a bigger fan of that if this was like Kane jungle or the ego jungle or something Or or are you mid? So, I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is not easy to play for the Shin in the top lane. Uh, Nara's range can't definitely annoying. Um, bot lane took an unhealthy trade at some point. This the Seraphine definitely has a lot of pain. Um, I think that's the other thing I would want. To consider in the bot lane is if you're playing with Ezreal and you're going to be oh, maybe go uh, karma, right? uh, or something like that, or or Lux Ezreal. Lux. Try to match push with push and push with because they can focus on poking if all you you're just defending. Uh, uh, Nebia stylistically is good in these in this comp. It's just gonna get hard if that wombo combo ever does come through. I don't know if your teammates provide enough damage to the first time. Okay. So far, a pretty passive lane here in the top side. Top has been ganked pretty early by a lot of uh, Kill Aquarius ganks. So maybe that's something that's uh, he's still thinking about. Trundle is pathing up here to keep that from being a thing. And this ward should see the Udyr here on the bot half of the map. The pings come out, they know where he is. He is going to reset onto the map. Trundle just a little bit behind, not much. Though. And now we, uh, we just watch, right? I would like to see more um, aggressive trades from the Shin up here, especially when Mars in melee form. I know he's a little bit scary, but I think you can take some of those passive trades. Um, or you think you want to Q into W so you can't chase him down. I, I don't want to change. Yeah, with, with using your dash already, I'm not able to do anything now that you're No, they missed the dash. So far, all quiet in this game. Cosmos and taking a pretty comfortable early game lead. A lot of it backed on to the CS difference of. I guess just. But at the end, not bad time. Doesn't really matter. The, the CS stuff is not good. Mainly because there's just not much else to talk about, right? Uh, I do want to admit that the Lissandra into Misfortune Seraphim combo is, it sounds so gross. That uh, she can go in and start a fight uh, pretty safely herself. Alright. 
fighting into this wave. This should be first blood for the Gnar. Gnar not gonna try to do anything under here. This is really good patience by the Gnar. Um, when you have this W up, you have to just use this to block this. These others. I don't know. I would have already taken a reset and exact that other wave to make sure I get kidding because I don't want to miss. Or just reset on the map and press R on Udyr. Right? That, that could have been the play. Fortunately, that is not the play. But uh, Nar is going to be able to jump away. This might be tragedy for them so far. Looking pretty bad. First blood for the tunnel. And here comes Lissandra. Flash out of Lissandra. Ult out of Lissandra. And that is going to be uh, a kill. Yeah, I think I think if you're Shen, you base on that one wave. And you press R on your deer. Um, yeah. I feel like that's a play that also could just be made more often. Let uh, Udyr run him 1v1 after you've taken an aggressive trade reset and then press R on him. Because you, you don't even need teleport. That's what I probably do every time I have R. R is about to come up. Take weird trades with Nara where you probably lose out, but he also loses health, and then you're just setting him up to be in a weird place. Because you you know you're going to reset on the map and press R on him. I think that'd be an interesting thing to do. trying to shove out here i think if you're morgana this doesn't feel like shit you don't have a choice that's fine it is what it is it's the nature of it yeah i don't know i just feel like this nar with no flash could definitely be aggressed on in creative ways with Udi or Shen, uh, before he gets taken enough to, to survive it. But I, I could be wrong on that, but it just seems like something that, like, if I'm this Udyr, right, if I'm this, um, Gnar, very easy to just die to this amount of CC and damage that would come up. And you could probably just farm him, right? Uh, your bot lane should not die to gates as long as they're pushed up like this. Your mid lane is fine shoving up. You just need to keep eyes on Lissandra and maybe an enemy needs to match just teleport whenever Lissandra roams. I don't know. For sure. I don't know. This one's coming into you. You don't lose a single minion if you just sit under tower, by the way. Maybe this one right here, but oh no, you lose one. If that even happens. Good, doesn't take any extra harass. Um, looks, looks like he doesn't know that pressing Q gives him more damage on the I'm pretty sure you should just be doing that in cooldown. I will say this bot lane is kind of terrifying. And this, the second one, it looks very comfortable on Misfortune in general. Shut down. Nice shutdown coming out. Huge Chenault. Thank you. Does the Lissandra die too? And he does. So Lafayette now down uh, only a kill, but also down 1.4 thousand gold. Uh, so much of it on the back. Uh, uh, CS discrepancy top. Uh, kill difference in jungle. 
song difference in, in the valley. It's just small differences across the board, right? It, it's very hard. And I don't know if you actually steal the letter. Queen Ezreal does, Anivia should be fine here. Oh. is just dead so I'm not even here. Using the dash a little bit early there. Still has Q and W. Didn't have, maybe didn't have to flash there. <laughs> Classic idiot gotta finish camps. Don't need help. Oh. I'm teasing my cousin. I'm not sure what prior you think you have to do this. The top's not coming at all. This is weird for sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why we did this, but that's fine. Because it is. Then make a whole lot of sense to me, but. I think since you know he's here and Nivea should just invade, you actually uh, could just take the raptors here and walk back out. I think that'd be pretty safe here. until you see Lissandra. You'd have to walk through, but whatever. Hmm. It just feels like one of those games where it's just like we're just watching not a whole lot happen, so it's fine. Move the news. By the way, if you're shitting, you want to pull this big of a wave, pre pull it here, press W, and then walk into the bush over and over and keep dragging it back. But I guess it's just a little bit. It's fine. It's really nice. Say Thomas Nelson really likes fighting for this one. Is this the fight you want to go for? I don't think it is. I think no one's serving like what So uh for the most part it's on yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm so confused. So we went for a herald that I didn't think we could fight. We just went for a dragon that I don't think we could fight. And now we're down almost four thousand gold. Taking these really awkward fights. Uh don't make a lot of sense. Woo! There's some damage. We are getting so much here on the top side of this. I think as soon as he comes alive though, Shin can just hold the Udyr. This is a free play for you. And he could all be All right, that's unfortunate. I mean, he would have had Mega anyway. Udyr took a really awkward uh, fight there. Um, that's just so now I'll get down uh, almost, you know, six, uh, six thousand right here in this third decisive game of this best of three, and we'll have to see what's going to happen with that. this patience here we have a line of vision that we don't know where things are if we come up to this wave we need to know where trundle is let's watch the vision from lafayette here on this point make sure it's something that makes sense same with shin here on the top side via kings we do see the misfortune here and the seraphim here so i think we can take this wave down here all right guys i gotta pause this is that moment i was talking about be right back to screen.
that we're officially back. One moment. Uh, so Lafayette is now down about 6,000 gold here in this game. They are pushing up this lane with a lack of vision, but you know. Yeah, they, they can't hit this turret. They don't know where jungle is. You should always assume jungle is up when you don't know where he is. Mid lane, top lane turrets have not come down. Objective bettings are on the plate. Are, all, are on the table. Uh, this is not a soul though that you can just get for free. I think here two here in two minutes and forty seconds. I think the play that you could go for. If you don't feel like you can fly, okay, maybe a lot of damage there from saying they aren't able to pick up that stuff. Anyway, that's what I was saying. I think a play you could go for is sending multiple people up here to top lane um, and forcing this down while they do the third dragon. Because I don't think you're going to be ready to fight this third dragon. Um, unless you can get off a really nasty pick. Right? So I have to see what Lafayette is capable of doing. Right now, the Udyr is playing in farm. This, this, the simple streak are doing an incredible job within this game. She's kind of talking, but also you know, living slash dying makes that job easier. Slash dying. But still doing a great job, nonetheless. Don't want to take away from it. Has the most farm in this game. Tied with this Once again, like I said, this fortune does not play like a bronze player. Thomas Nelson certainly doing quite a lot here to make it feel very hard to do. Good here on a ward. Can't do anything here. It has the flash, but there's just so much protection here. Fans from the fortune. Play. All right. Well, this is awkward. The trundle was last seen mid heading bot, and it is now on a. This is just way too late. This is a death for somebody. Probably the Ezra. Alright, looks like he just gave up. Morgana is going to die. But a shutdown on the other side of the map is definitely nice. Play around that. Glad Shin did that ult for that. I think Ezreal instantly recalls and heads top. Shen can always have bot. Uh, TP. Or not TP. Oh. I'm gonna be trading dragon for Carol. You need to instantly use this. I would use it mid. It's very hard to crack up with this mid turn does this. I would use it mid and then go together as a team for top. This is this is literally what I would do. Everyone top. Drop Harold mid. Take top turret. Two turrets for the turret. The only play you can do. This is Yeah, Shin's just not able to play this fast. This is why I wouldn't have seen that if you're trying to attack that with side mode. So cross mapping something that Lafayette could definitely do better. For sure. Making plans in advance. On this switch. But guys, there's just not much to talk about right now. Lavia is behind by 5,000 gold now. We'll have to fight the next dragon. Yes, to take a part in this game. 
um, has not really treated turrets like the objectives that they could be. As a herald could do something with that, but I feel like at that point it's a little too it's too little too late. Uh, so they're gonna have to try to find something before this next dragon. Baron spawns now. They summoned the herald mid, the school killer. Uh, but this is a point that could have been done for a while ago. And with the way that all of Thomas and Nelson went for the dragon, that is something they taken out of the board. Good ult on our Seraphine. And yeah, Thomas Nelson is just really hard to be here with everybody, forcing down this thing hard. Nelson knows this is happening. This is awkward. That dude's not here for this. I think he just instantly turned. I don't think you actually want to do this. And this just feels tragic. Okay, uh, Lafayette started Baron thinking of sneaking a bit off over a war. Uh, and so none of it was sneak. I think if you're gonna sneak, you have to use a force and a sweeper. It was just. Definitely tragic there. Okay, yeah, this game is getting a little out of control for Lafayette to handle. They don't have the same uh, tools like the Seraphine before to stall out the game as much. And the other way to the tool that they literally have is currently dead, but uh, looks like they're all resetting on the map. I don't like that call by Thomas Nelson because they're going to go for Soul in about a minute. I say they could have pushed, you know. 5v2. That's what doesn't have a lot of wave play. I think he did a got a mid turret and then recall. Uh, you'd have basically the same setup on this map that you would have otherwise. But once again, with Baron, this is like literally the Thomas Nelson playbook actually. We've seen it every single game because we've given them Baron every single game at some point. So we, we have really good info on like what they decide to do. They always do this 1 3 1, which means it's very, very attackable. If you have loads of attacking sides, unfortunately Lafayette with this particular comp doesn't have In fact, it's, they have very low engage tools in general at all. Which is why I'm not a big fan of some of the stuff they've done. The only thing that they can do, and this is Olivia pushed up past where she should have vision. She has a ward here, but this ward's not useful. You, you, you would realistically want a ward here uh, and here. A hand here, no, uh, definitely here and here because of the hex gates and things like that. Um, and so I don't think you can push past it here. Um, so without the Olivia, now Udyr has to be able to hold this way. I think if she doesn't die, though, it's actually one of those awkward scenarios where I think uh, Thomas Nelson doesn't get a whole lot out of the turn that they wouldn't have already. Yeah, I think it's the exact same thing they would have got. And, but they're also going to get the soul here. Lafayette's not in a position to contest unless they run out of uh, This is just going to be so much. That thing's just gone. Then it is gone. 10, 11k gold lead for Thomas Nelson. I imagine the next time they push will be the last time they need in this game. They have so much gold, they should just be able to wipe off it. Off it. So at this point, Lafayette's going to get the last resources they possibly can. And I hope that it's enough for this game to take a wider view of everything that's happening. Nevia now has a board here, not pushing, but I think at this point you just need to be with your team. Give up this turret. This turret no longer matters in terms of trying to stall the game this far behind. He moved over, but that's such a greedy way to move. Uh, so I kind of misplaced when we get to here. I'm about to make this thing this far behind. Just... Going 
guess I killed four of these horses with the five of them. Great game by Thomas Lesson. This is going to be the end. This is the last clip. Uh, sorry that we had to take that pause randomly. Red team's turret is down. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. GG's to Thomas and Lesson. Thanks for your patience. Um, I'm going to end stream, but I am going to start this a bit back later uh, with uh, Smash. So just be looking for that. I have no idea what to expect in terms of casting. I'm excited to listen to whatever. Uh, but for now, uh, good night. Actually, I might have to show it tomorrow. It's 9 o'clock, and if anyone wants to see it, I imagine they can stay. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm going to show it tonight. I'm going to show it tonight. I'm just going to deal with it. It's fine. It's what it is. All right, y'all. Um, good night, and see you soon, actually. I don't know why I say good night.